our trip down the California coast was so much fun. It was such a scenic drive. We forgot all about our destination, and we let the road take us on an adventure. <laughs> well, the map flew out of the sunroof, so we really didn't have much choice. <laughs> explain this picture of you two next to the Welcome to Idaho sign. <laughs> oh, Ray, Phyllis, glad you're here. I wanted to invite you for Thanksgiving dinner. I knew Mona wouldn't have any plans, but I wasn't sure about you two. Hey, I might have had some plans. Okay, no, I don't. <laughs> well, you can count me in, but Ray can't make it. Yeah, I have a charity concert in Los Angeles for Big Brothers, Big Sisters. I have to go with Snoop Dogg. You know Snoop? Mm -hmm. For shizzle, my dizzle. <laughs> Ma, Snoop doesn't actually say that anymore. The Rizzle? <laughs> anyway, it's okay that we're not gonna spend our first Thanksgiving together. I'll just save you some turkey, and then when you're done with that, we'll get down with some dessert. Ah, that's something to be thankful for. Mm. <laughs> this is not something I want to hear about. Me nizzle. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're going to do is add a little bit of Grand Marnier to the chocolate, like that. And I promise you, that is going to have you beg, beg, begging for more. Taste that. Mmm. Let the beg, beg, begging begin. <laughs> Come in. Hey, Didi, I just wanted to know, wow, it smells like you got Willy Wonka cooking up in here. <laughs> Mona, I want to introduce you. Oh to my God, Tyler Florence! Hey, I watch you on TV all the time because of your cute recipes. Yeah, I get that a lot. I hear I got the cutest recipes in the business. Daddy hired him to make Thanksgiving dinner, and he got Tyler to give me private lessons too. We are creating a chocolate pilgrim village, complete with each member of our family. You know what, Dee Dee? You're right. I think sculpting her hair is going to be a little tough. What do you think about a, a chocolate hat instead, just to? Hey, girls. Let's check in on how things are going with Tyler. Hey, money man. How you doing? <laughs> Tyler is unbelievable. He transformed an ordinary block of chocolate into a perfect little me. He's just finishing up my pecan pumps. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad he's working out. So, Mona, you want to bring Nick to Thanksgiving dinner? Nick and I broke up six months ago. Oh, I think I remember Dee Dee mentioning something about that. She may have, six months ago. <laughs> oh, well, I never liked him anyway. You never met him! Well, why should I waste my time on somebody I never liked? <laughs> no matter how deep the pain, no matter how much it aches, I'm gonna be there for you. Hey, Mona, you never guess who's flying in for Thanksgiving. My mom. I haven't seen Tanya since she helped you carry me home from that frat party. <laughs> oh, yeah, toga fest. I wore silk sheets and all the girls kept sliding off my lap. Please, they were jumping off. Hey, do you think your mom's gonna want to see Ray while she's here? No way. She doesn't know about my dad and it's gonna stay that way. I mean, they did not end on good terms. But she kept this picture so she could still yell at him. Who are you telling? I'm president of the Children of Bitter Parents Club. We meet every Wednesday at 5, and the new guy brings cookies. Hot chocolate coming through, and I don't mean me. I need more space for my extended candy family. Ooh, did you bring some for your sister? Here, eat Grandma. She didn't call me on my birthday. Hey, Dee Dee, my mom's coming to town. Do you mind if I bring her to Thanksgiving? Oh, of course not. But I hope she's petite, because I'm down to two blocks of chocolate. You know, I'm happy my mom is coming. But I'm still bummed, because I can't spend a holiday with my dad. And why is he spending Thanksgiving with Snoop? I mean, how would Snoop like it if I spent Thanksgiving with his dad? I can honestly say I've never asked myself that question. I, I guess I'm just disappointed he chose work over me. Well, I say get used to the fact that some fathers, and by some I mean ours, were put on this earth to disappoint. 
You really think that about your dad? Please, he has no idea what's going on with me ever, but I pretend he does, and I let him think I'm fine. Maybe phony, but it works. Well, it doesn't work for me. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm just about to bite into Nana's good hip. <laughs> Mona, your attitude about daddy is unfair to both of you. People who eavesdrop from the kitchen are not allowed to comment. <laughs> then people in the living room shouldn't talk so loud. Didi, it's none of your business. Have we met? When it comes to my father and my sister, it's always my business. Yeah, where you been? I think Daddy has tried to connect with you, but maybe somebody needs to meet him halfway. Wow, she came down on you kind of hard. That's why I'm gonna go eat two more relatives. This smells delicious. No, you're really not supposed to drink the cooking one. Oh, after a few glasses, it all tastes the same. Yeah. Well, you know, if you insist on being here, can you tell me where you keep the carving set? Like I have a clue. That's the maid's department. And Elsa took the day off, even though I am pretty sure Thanksgiving is not a holiday in Helsinki. Then shouldn't you be with your baby, Drew? Remember him? Nanny's got him covered. Then you know who does need you? Dee Dee, I heard her call from the other room. Really? Yeah, thanks for coming in. I'll let you know when it's done. Thank you. I, I know it's most crazy. I'll see you later. Bye. You needed me? No. I'm the one who told you Tyler needed you. <laughs> well, apparently I'm a very needed person because everywhere I go, people tell me I'm needed elsewhere. Now I need you to get the door. Can you believe this? Now I have to answer the door in my own home? What's next? Injecting my own Botox? <laughs> Phyllis, it must be Thanksgiving. The turkey's here. What do you say we play pilgrims and Indians? You bring me food and I'll bring you smallpox and wipe out your kind. <laughs> ah, Phyllis, luckily you're barely audible through my four glasses of wine. Hey, Ma, your car's dripping oil. It's gonna stay in your driveway. Shh, I loosen the cap myself. Where's Spencer and Tanya? I don't think they're here yet. Oh, I'm excited to finally meet Spencer's mom, but a little nervous about meeting Ray's ex. Thank God he's not here. Because it would be pretty awkward. No, because I can eat as much as I want without him clocking my intake. <laughs> Why do you think a woman eating pants? Because all your pants are eating pants. Hey, you two. Come look at my completed chocolate village. Oh. See? There we all are. Congratulations, Phyllis. It took the most chocolate to make you. <laughs> And I can tell which one is you. It's a Kahlua Phil one that's towering over the rest of the village. Could we try to be a happy family when Spencer and his mom get here? Oh, and while we're doing that, let's also not mention Ray. Spencer's mom doesn't know that they've reconnected, and he'd like to keep it that way. Ooh, a secret. Next to diamonds, they're my favorite things. The bigger, the better. Obviously, that's not how you feel about husbands. <laughs> Welcome, Tanya. Love the shoes. Thank you. Thank you, Spencer. Come on in. Okay. Hi. Hey, everyone. I'd like y'all to meet my mother, Tanya. That's Big Dee Dee, Dee Dee Phyllis, and you know Mona. Oh, my. Hi. It's great to see you again in something other than a toga. It is so wonderful to meet you. Oh, Phyllis, likewise. <gasps> After all these years, I feel like we've already shared so much. Oh. More than you know. And now I finally know the woman who's been looking after my Spencer. That's not the only man she's been looking after. <laughs> and I am happy to finally meet the woman who raised him so well. Yeah, between us, I used to think Spencer and Mona were going to end up together. Well, you know what I think? I'll tell you what I think. I think the exact same thing. But for now, I'm going to just bide my time and wait on my grandbabies. <laughs> it's like there are two of them now. Never mix cooking wine with Percocet. Never. Happy Thanksgiving for all the women in my life. That's so sweet, Charles. Yeah, Dad, it's very thoughtful of you. I think Mona and I will go get some water to put all these pretty flowers in. Mona, follow me. Oh, uh, I thought it was the big one. Mona, why didn't you tell Daddy you're allergic to lilies? Because I'm not. I outgrew that. Oh, then you can smell the cranberries cooking. Of course I can smell the cranberries There are no cranberries cooking! <laughs> you don't have to lie to Daddy about the lilies. You know, this is the perfect chance for you to stop being phony and take a step toward having an honest relationship. Mm. She's right, you know. Hey, I don't just cook. I listen. 
Anyway, Dee Dee, it's too late for me and Dad to have anything more than what we've got. Well, I'm not buying that. I mean, don't you even care about setting an example for our baby brother by actually resolving family conflicts? Have you learned nothing from the reruns of The Cosby Show? Oh my, Ray, what an interesting and hopefully explosive surprise. <laughs> Well, I hope you don't mind my dropping by, but Snoop said I should be home with my family for Thanksgiving. Actually, he told me to break out of the 310 and go kick it with La Familia at the crib. Oh. But I'm pretty sure that meant the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Then come in. <laughs> Just be a deer, and let me get a better vantage point first. Tanya. Ray. Ugly, do you think this is gonna get? What is this man doing here? Uh, mom, this is dad, dad, mom. I guess you remember each other. <laughs> but I don't remember somebody telling me that she was gonna be here. Ray, you're bald. There is karma after all. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Let's take a tour of the grounds. Ray, you go that way, and Tanya, you go the other. I yeah, and you won't meet up for days. We do have a lot of grounds. Uh-uh. I'm not going anywhere till somebody tells me what this man is doing here. Um. I'll... Tanya, let's go talk about this in the kitchen. Ray, you don't tell me what to do. Let's go talk about this in the kitchen. Fine. Where's the kitchen? You got some nerve show. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> I can. It's just like old times. Well? Since we're all here and already uncomfortable, Mona, don't you have something you want to say to Daddy? No, I certainly do. Thanks again for the flowers. Spencer, your father thinks it would be best for everyone if I left. So I'm staying. We're happy to have you. We just have to shuffle the seating. Ray, would you like to sit next to your ex-wife or your girlfriend? Your girlfriend? Oops. You didn't know Phyllis was dating Ray? Oh, silly me. I was thinking seating arrangements, not the sordid lives of my guests. Before we eat, some of us more than we should, let's keep with our tradition of everyone expressing what they're thankful for. Personally, I'm thankful that I have a beautiful new baby boy and a rich, fulfilling life. Emphasis on rich. <clears throat> Who's next? So, um, I'm thankful to be surrounded by honest, loving family members who are always open with each other. I agree. And in that same spirit, I am thankful to have a son who would never keep secrets from the woman who raised him all by herself. Uh, and I'm thankful to have a compassionate mother who understands the difficult choices her son has been forced to make. And I am thankful to be able to spend Thanksgiving with the people I love and others. And I'm thankful to be in the center of an uncomfortable triangle. I'm thankful for all of you. Oh. <clears throat> and I'm thankful for the flowers Dad gave me. No, you're not. Yes, I am. They're pretty. And I'm thankful for my new son, my beautiful wife, and my two lovely daughters. Dee Dee, who just made law review, is in the top 1% of her class and is going to be graduating in five months, two weeks, and four days. And Mona, who has a wonderful career in music. That's it? That's all you're gonna say about me? And I'm thankful that you don't have to wear your eye patch anymore. Thank you for noticing. Just will notice my watery eyes. They're from the lilies you gave me. They also made my throat close up. You know why? Because I'm allergic to them, and I have been ever since I was three. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. And that's exactly the problem. Either you're not paying attention, or I just don't matter. Of course you matter. Then why were you clueless that Nick and I broke up six months ago? Dad, you don't know anything about my tastes, my social life. You don't even know my best friend's name. Chester? <laughs> it's it's Spencer! Spencer! I kind of gotten used to Chester. You know, and another thing. I think you're thankful enough. No, I don't think I am, because this is feeling way too good to stop. Ma, 
I do not need 36 rolls of toilet paper from Costco every week. No human being goes to the bathroom that much. <laughs> hey, Kitty, you're rich. Newsflash, we got it. And where the hell is Coco? Because I would like to thank her for a little present she left on my carpet two weeks ago. Well, I'm thankful that's over. What in the hell got into Mona? Well, this has taken the art of dinner theater to a whole new level. <laughs> Mom, could you pass the stuff in? Um, Phyllis, I meant to tell you earlier, don't let Ray go out for cigarettes, because if you do, you might not see him for another 20 years. Well, if you were more supportive of my career, I might have come back from that 7-Eleven. People throwing change in your saxophone case outside of Penn Station is not a music career. Still waiting on that stuffing. I don't pick up the saxophone to drown out your nagging. Well, if you hated me so much, then why are you still wearing that worthless pinky ring I gave you? because it looks good on my finger. She gave that to you? Yeah, that and the bleeding ulcer. And I hope you still got that too. Anybody want anything from the 7-Eleven? What is it about Thanksgiving that brings out the worst in us? And when I say us, I mean you. Maybe it's the little monster on my shoulder that keeps egging me on. And when I say the little monster, I mean you. Mona, I was hoping to find you here. I brought you these. Tulips? They're my favorite. Isn't that thoughtful? Why don't I go look for a vase in the bedroom? Look, it came to my attention and to the attention of everyone else at the table. You might be a little upset with me. Mona, when you were growing up, I should have been there for you more. Go on. I should have gotten to know you better and fought harder to keep you in my life. I haven't exactly made it easy for you, Dad. Having a wall up when you're around doesn't help you to get to know me. Sweetheart, to get to the really good stuff in life, we have to let our guards down. We have to take the chance that we might get hurt. I'd like to have a, a better and deeper relationship. Daddy, I would love that. Yay! Now there's peace in the chocolate village. <laughs> Man, that was some drama yesterday. I mean, now I know how you felt all these years being caught between parents. Seems like whatever we say or do is wrong. Tell me about it. When it comes to my mom and dad, I just lay low and wait for the shooting to stop. Hmm. You, you ever think it would be easier if we were born with only one parent? Sure. Not as many Christmas presents to buy. Cheaper phone bills. Fewer people barging into your life. Don't mind me. Just stopping by with some groceries and to tell you what an amazing day I had. I woke up at the crack of dawn and was at the outlets by the time they opened. Gotta beat the other women to get the good fake leather. <laughs> oh, and I broke up with Ray. What? Mom, why? Because there is still some chemistry between Ray and Tanya. Really? The only thing I saw between them was fighting. I didn't say it was good chemistry. <laughs> Look, Ray and I sat up all night talking, and the more we talked, the more he realized he still had some feelings for Tanya. So I told him to move out. Wow. You sure about this? Listen, if I was younger, I might say we could just spend some time apart, but I just don't have that kind of time to wait anymore. Hell, I barely have time to wait for microwave popcorn. Ma, I'm so sorry this didn't work out. Me too. You know, I spent a lot of years hoping a man would come along who loved me, and I deserve one who wants to be with me and only me. I really hoped it was Ray. But it's not. I know that man's still out there for you. Is he? Remember, every man that's not the one just takes you that much closer to the one who is. My mother taught me that. She is a wise and beautiful woman. <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies, looks like we're all single again. But at least we could all be here for each other, huh? Oh, there's Sheila from the gym. I'm about to hit it. Hey, 
Hello, Chocolate Phyllis. <laughs> Feeling small, powerless. Well, no one can help you now. No, no, you're fabulous. I bow down to you. <laughs> Why, Phyllis, that's such a lovely compliment. But it's too little. Too late. <clears throat> The only thing you have to explain is why you're not sharing. Well, break me off a foot, woman. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was. <laughs>